tall guy. Woody, I'm not exactly sure what you can and cannot say, but how would you describe the ending to that game, and what are your feelings um, now that a few minutes have passed? First thing I'm going to say is that didn't determine us losing the game. We lost that game. Uh, we didn't play well enough. We didn't make plays at the end. We didn't make pitches at the end. We had a three-to-one three, three to one lead in the seventh inning. We lost the game. Um, that's the most important thing I can say. Um, it's more of a technicality at the end. Uh, listen, I read the rule. It's, it is what it is. There's not much we can do. It's, you can look at slow-mo and watch it over and over again and see everything you want to see to make that call. New York made the call to call them out. We have to walk away. It's really frustrating to lose a game like that. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. And you can read the rule and you can manipulate the rule or do whatever you want to make it look like, you know, he disengaged with the base. He, you know, kind of rolled a little bit. I thought the ball was out of his hand before he ever made contact, but they ruled him out. So that's, there's nothing we can do about that. We have to play better baseball towards the end of games. Seventh, eighth, and ninth, we had a chance to win that game and we didn't. Have you, since, since the inf incept of replay, have you had a game end with an umpire overturning a call as a coach or manager? I don't remember, you don't remember um, that happening. I do remember a couple of those calls going in the favor of the slide rule. Um, so, you know, it's not surprising, to be honest with you. You know, it's just, you know, when you have one of your better hitters coming up next, it's, you know, it's frustrating to lose like that. I thought Garver was just trying to make a baseball play. You know, he, I don't think he did anything wrong. Now, according to the rules, like in technicality, maybe. Um, but he's just playing baseball. He's playing hardball, and it's, I'll, I'll give him a big hug after. I, I don't know if you can address this, but do you, since this is the first time you've had a, a game in this way, do you have any issue with the, with the fact that the, um, the, the, play, the game ended without the umpires on the field being able to actually make the call um yeah i mean it's it's, it's different uh, it's not anything i've ever obviously witnessed and it's frustrating to lose like that um i just didn't get an explanation until just now like on the field i had no explanation you know given to me it was obviously new york that made the call and you know there's nothing i can argue i was obviously upset but you know to, to their credit they were just like that wasn't our call it was new york that made the call so i was obviously waiting for an explanation but um yeah, it's frustrating. Like I said, though, the, I was more frustrated with with the way the game was up to that point because we had a, we should have won that game. Woody, the the bullpen did a pretty good job for a couple of innings, but then it, it struggled again, obviously, in closing it out. How much longer can you go on with the bullpen performing like this? It's it's demoralizing to a team to to have a chance to win games and then not not be able to put them away. Yeah, I mean, it's four games in, so I mean, we, I wouldn't say it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's not panic and doom over the bullpen. Uh, we have some really good arms down there. We just got to get more consistent. Uh, we got to be able to put hitters away. Um, our starters got to do the same thing. It's just, you know, as a pitching staff, we've given up a lot of two out runs, um, a lot of hard contact with two outs, uh, and those are killing us. It killed us in Toronto in a couple games and um, obviously did today. Uh, we just couldn't finish off an inning um, and make a pitch when we needed to. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I, I mean, I got put into left field many times by guys. So it, the, obviously the rules are made to protect players. So as a middle infielder, a former middle infielder, I respect that. Um, I just remember, you know, the, the Larry Walkers and Matt Holliday's coming in at you. They will literally put you in the left field. Um, but that's different. The game has changed. And, and I agree with it. As a, as a middle infielder, it's kind of nice to know that you can just turn a double play. Um, but when it, you know, when it gets to the point where we're looking at it in slow mo and it's, you know, 400 frames per second, and we're like, oh, I think his foot was going at him. There's a little bit of intent there. Mitch Garver had no intent but to just, you know, s slide into second base and, and hope the guy threw it away, and that's what happened. And like I said, I don't think Mitch did anything wrong, but he got called out on a technicality that, you know, they're probably going to call every time. Um, they were ready from basically the fourth inning on. Uh, that spot came up a few times, and uh, we chose not to do it um, you know, three innings earlier. Just from a defensive standpoint, wanted to keep the better defenders out there. Um, but we knew that we had you know, Brad Miller and Willie Calhoun you know, waiting in the wings uh, for both those guys. And um, it actually played out exactly the same way in the next time around. And you know, that was a huge hit for Willie. 
Uh, big big shot there off of uh, you know a really good arm in, in Bard and um, really happy for him. Hoping hoping it would actually turn out to help us win the game. Um, unfortunately, it didn't. Did uh, what was your take on Seeger's attempt to turn the double play and then the ensuing rundown? Yeah, I think he just tried to force it. You know, it's a play that you know as a shortstop, it's hard not to try um, to make plays. And I don't really fault guys, you know, when they're trying to make plays like that. Um, you know, hindsight, 2020, probably didn't have a shot at him at first. That's the only time I would say eat it. I had a hard time with that as an infielder, always trying to, you know, make a play for my team. It, you know, listen, I, I can't fault him for that. And maybe just he knew. I mean, he knew right away that, you know, he probably shouldn't have tried to force it. But like I said, it's an, it's an aggressive mistake that he's trying to, to save his. He's trying to help his team get out of an inning. Um, so he just we just got to learn from that. Brad said in pregame that Willie told him yesterday that he was going to hit a pinch hit home run. Obviously, yesterday he hit, you know, Brad had a pinch hit, you know, big play. Willie right. today hits a pinch hit home run. I guess is that mentality kind of contagious for pinch hitters? It is. Yeah, it just, it just goes to show you the, uh, the preparation that goes on by those guys um, when they're not playing. Um, you know, the last couple of days we've had left handed pitchers, so all the lefties on the bench um, we're, we're all on high alert. You know, basically, like I said, from the fourth inning on. They were like that yesterday and then obviously again today. So um, I, if it's flipped, you know, tomorrow we got a right handed pitcher. All the right handers are going to be ready. I don't, they don't have too many lefties down there. They only have one, but um, it's just, you know, all hands on deck basically, you know, at that point. Uh, I guess he got kind of lost in all the hoopla, but Adolis had a really good day at the plate yeah. and two walks, two hits. You know, what it seems like whatever is going on with the game plan with Donnie is really and Tim is really working. Yeah, he's been patient. You know, you just see the, uh, you know, there are times, uh, I, I think just when he learns how to, to have that kind of patience and discipline, um, and then he adds the slug value to it, um, he's going to get better pitches to hit. Teams are going to start going, okay, this guy's not chasing anymore. They're going to have to come to the middle of the plate. Obviously, he has really good hitters around him. So they're going to be forced to at some point say, okay, we got to throw a dollar strikes now. I think the game planning and the scouting basically is saying, we don't have to throw you a strike. And then now he's saying, no, you do. So he's going to reap the benefits of it at some point. He's just got to stay disciplined right now.